say George is to keep the doors closed. Ah, <laughs> oh, much better. The man was right. It was much warmer inside. But outside, it was colder than ever. couldn't bring Jumpy inside where it was warm, he'd bring the warm outside to Jumpy. <laughs> Except trees didn't come with windows to seal. <laughs> if squirrels lived in houses instead of trees, George would know exactly what to do. Then George saw it. It was the perfect squirrel house. Except it did have a lot of cracks. So George cocked them. Now he needed some fluffy stuff. But he was out of fluffy stuff. from the clothes dryer would work just as well. <laughs> Bye, George. Huh, that is one fast lint cleaning monkey. <laughs> so. To keep the fluffy stuff stuffed, George needed walls to hold it in place. But where would he find squirrel walls? <laughs> Cardboard. If Jumpy's house was going to stay really warm, it needed a door. Only squirrels can't turn doorknobs. George could think about it while he ate lunch. Hmm, maybe a teapot could be a door. Nah, or maybe a ceramic chicken thingy. Or... That's it. A postcard would be just the right size. <laughs> now that his house was finished, he had to furnish it. It was the perfect squirrel house. <coughs> Getting Jumpy to live there was harder than George thought. <coughs> His squirrel house was missing one very important thing. Surprised, the monkey's place was nice. It was warm and dry. Now everyone would be cozy this winter. It was a good thing that George knew how to make cozy insulated houses. Very good thing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>